Jim Schwartz uh, talked about Miles Garrett, one defensive player of the year last year, about him taking his, his game to even another level. It's been impressive to watch. I've, I've mentioned a couple players that I've coached in the past um, that had a similar attitude and a similar trajectory, um, Ray Lewis and Calvin Johnson. And, you know, no matter how good they were, they were hungry for more. They were hungry. They, 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 um, they didn't really compare themselves to others. They, they were worried about their own performance and improvements that they could make. And, you know, Miles is no different um, that way. Um, he's an impact player for us. He changes the whole scheme. You know, it's sometimes it makes it hard for us to scout because what you see on tape, okay, hey, the, the center slides this way versus this formation, or they use this kind of protection, or they run this way in the run game. A lot of that goes out the window when you have a guy like Miles because they'll have a Miles plan. And we've gotten better at recognizing those kind of things and, and try to play off. I mean, you know, every single opponent we have, they start their game plan with how do we account for 95? So, you know, he's with the effectiveness that he had, even with that target on his back. I, I said about C.D. Lamb, we know he wears number 88, so he's easy to find. Well, when you're 6'4", 275, and wear number 95, it's pretty easy to find you, too. He's still able to be um, successful. So that, that that's such an impressive thing to watch. Yeah, and Brad, the other thing is other guys got to step up. I, I, JOK, you know, they got a number of guys. Quentin Jefferson, I mean, with, with a rookie center, I think he could have a huge game. Huge game. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, they ha they go eight deep up there. Uh, they should be able to take advantage of that. But the, the stuff he's saying about Miles is so – the one thing I've noticed about this defensive line, anytime they're talking, Dave, in leading up to this game is they seem very confident. They seem very comfortable. They're not bodacious. They're not bragging. But they seem also, like, very loose, right? Like, they seem very comfortable in their skin and who they are. Uh, I'm very excited to see this defense. I think that um, a year or two under Schwartz, uh, with him even pointing out the facts there of like, we get it. They're going to have a Miles plan, just like Browns are going to have a Micah plan, right? And we're going to have to play off of that. Um, I think exploiting that stuff uh, in year two uh, and all of the, the additional uh, guys around him, uh, just a year better and understanding the scheme even further, uh, this Browns defense could be... It has the potential. I'll just say that. I don't want to get too crazy here, but it has the potential to be all-time type of a defensive unit if they could stay healthy. Yep. Let's see what they do. Uh, all starts to matter come Sunday at 425.